The Zotero connector will change appearance depending on the type of web page you are looking at. On this Google search page, the Zotero connector appears as a gray Z, meaning that it is online but cannot get any information from this page. When viewing search results from the library's catalog, the Zotero connector may appear as a yellow file folder. This means that you are able to select items from the search results and import them into your Zotero library as a batch. If viewing search results on the library's website from a discovery search, note that the icon is a gray page. This means that the information on the page is not compatible with the Zotero connector. Viewing the details of these items work better with the Zotero connector. Here's the detailed record for a book in the library's collection. The Zotero connector has changed to a book, indicating that the item will save to your library as a book. Here is the detailed record for a journal article. Note that the Zotero connector is not recognizing it as a journal article. However, if we click the link to view the record in EDS, the EBSCO detailed view is recognized by the Zotero connector as a journal article. Note that it has changed to a white page. Web pages may also be imported into Zotero. This article from the Religion News Service changes the Zotero connector to a blue page, indicating that Zotero will collect information about this web page when adding it to your library. Paying attention to what the Zotero connector looks like will help you to know whether it will import good information about your source. It is also a good idea to double check what information Zotero imports from an item, as further edits and additions may be needed.